Back here this morning at the Lumberjack World Championships, here with Ben Hansen. I guess we're going to be attempting, well, I will be attempting, you will be participating in the underhand chop yep. and the single buck saw. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Uh, ben, let's start from the beginning. How'd you get started in this whole thing? I got started in college through a, uh, a club team that, that our school had. So I picked it up freshman year and uh, decided I wanted to take it to the next level and, and got hooked up with some professionals and started competing around the country. So had you ever seen it before going to college? I'd been to a couple of uh, small shows, you know, when I was a kid, go yeah. watch watch some of these guys out, uh, out chopping and sawing and doing the, doing the shows. But no, I, I really hadn't experienced it outside of that. So nothing with an ax before you're like 18 years old? Nope, nope. Wow. So there's hope for me. There is hope. There is hope. <laughs> so when was your first year coming to Hayward, Wisconsin to the Lumberjack World Championships? My first year was 2011, my first year here. And I've been competing here ever since. I think I did two or three years as a novice competitor and then been competing as a pro. And what's the difference between the underhand, the overhand? Am I going to like hurt muscles that I've never knew existed before today? Yes, yes, you're going to feel it. Uh, you're going to feel it in your hands. You're going to feel it in your legs, all over your body. <laughs> it's tiring, Ben. <babe. laughs> take a little break. And just for simple terms, the underhand is the log is going to be underneath my legs, mm -hmm. my feet, mm -hmm. and I will be bending over at the waist and attempting to chop through a block of wood by downward force. Yes, yes. When you stand on top of the log, <laughs> gravity is working with you. You have the most power. It's the fastest chopping event that we have. Uh -huh. um, the only uh, catch is you're, you're swinging at your feet. Which sounds dangerous and terrifying. Um, let's give it a try. It's very good. <laughs> have you swung an axe before? Split firewood? Anything uh, like probably that? Probably like a hatchet. Oh, okay. This is nothing like that. <laughs> Safety first. These are eight pound razors. Okay. So, there's a little spot for your toe right here yep. in the crease. Yep. You want that over your big toe. Yep. You want a little bit of this to sit underneath your foot, right on the inside of the ball of your foot. Yep, there you go. Cool. Very difficult to stand on a round piece of wood. So what we'll, uh, what we'll do here is we're gonna pop in some footholds so we have something flat to stand on. Beautiful. Halfway through. That's it? Just half? Just half. Uh, it's difficult. They make it look easy, and you really don't get a feel for how difficult it is until you're up close like this. I was scared to like put all my force into it. But it makes it look easy. I put about like 30 and you put seven. And that's where we are in terms of our skill level. <laughs> so I'm pulling. Pulling, yep. Like, pretty hard. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Now I'll push her through. There you go. Ah, you're moving some chips. Yeah, let's hit it up. <laughs> it takes a certain special someone to be able to do this. And I've learned that I'm not a certain special someone that can succeed at the Lumberjack World Championships. Almost through. One more push. Oh, you got to cut that last bit of wood. Perfect. Woo. Nice job. Nice job. I was born to sit at a desk, lean over with bad posture, and write about football. That's what I was born to do. I wasn't born to stand on a 14-inch diameter log and swing a five-pound axe as hard as I can directly at my feet. You know, those are two kind of different things.